friends, it is September 6, 2013 and I thought I'd share my very first pregnancy vlog um, just because it's so fun sharing this. It's, it's pretty much for me to look back on to see like my experiences during my pregnancy but it's also to share with you guys. I'm just so excited to be like to have our first child together. Justin and I are so funny. We call our baby mini marshmallow and Justin calls me big marshmallow. I take offense to that. I am mama marshmallow <laughs> and Justin is papa marshmallow. Um, anyhow so I've been pregnant for eight weeks and one day and um Right now, I saw on my baby app that baby is growing um, webbed, the baby's growing feet and fingers and it's not gonna be webbed anymore. And every single night, or at least we try, Justin reads to me what to expect when you're expecting. And we bought this the day we found out we were pregnant. We bought it on Amazon like right away. <sighs> the first like a symptom I have experienced ever since I got pregnant was out of breath <laughs> and I get out of breath just talking to you guys or going up the stairs sometimes when I'm like you know vlogging or doing videos I have to like pause and then edit and bring the videos together just because I can't breathe but now I can keep it real with you guys because I can finally say I'm pregnant and um, I don't know I'm just so scatterbrained like that's another side effect of pregnancy I've been so scatterbrained um, thankfully um, my skin cleared up I like got some acne on my forehead I think it was from threading or it could have been from pregnancy I have no clue and also um, I've done a lot of research on products or chemicals I should avoid while pregnant and I know that salicylic acid is bad so I bought this belly sulfur tea tree oil chamomile acne control spot treatment and it actually really works so I'm really glad and belly um, I actually just researched it on Amazon and it's a brand that does all the research and see if um, the chemicals are bad for pregnancy so this is a great brand and then also I also use tea tree oil on my face if I'm breaking out I'll just rub it all over but the thing is I don't like the smell and during my pregnancy like smells are so strong and one day I'll like one smell and the next day I'm like Ugh. and so <laughs> this is actually better that's why I bought the belly and as far as my stomach I'll show you guys but for stretch marks I actually have gone through two of these already I know I found out I was pregnant very early on like I think Justin and Justin and I found out like really early on because we planned our pregnancy and um, we got pregnant right away and so I use this Mama Mio skincare tummy rub stretch mark oil and I heard about this through Candy Johnson I was watching some of her old vlogs on pregnancy so let me go ahead and show you guys my stomach I feel like I'm showing a little bit more than I should so it looks like that and then as far as my skin Sorry about my ugly nude bra. So it looks like this on the side. I feel like I'm showing more than I should for eight weeks. But every mom to be is different, right? And then in the front, it looks like this. I feel like my abs or whatever leftover abs I did have, like in the top still shows, if you guys can see. <laughs> Roar! Just kidding, I have no abs anymore. But yeah, and then I took off my belly button ring. I had a navel ring. The moment I found out I was pregnant, I removed it right away because I've heard horror stories about it ripping off when your stomach grows. But so far, this is my baby belly. And um, I read that, um, let me come closer to you guys. Let me get real up close. I read that mothers um, to be, if their mom had stretch marks, they're most likely to. So I think I'm gonna have stretch marks, but I'm gonna do everything I can to prevent it. So I really like this, it smells really good. And Justin actually helps rub the oil on me, it's so cute. And oh my gosh, I have a horror story to share with you guys. So I was taking gummy vitamins and they have no calcium in it so I changed it and I used this simple one prenatal gummy vitamins or no they're not gummy they're like honking large pills I have a hard time taking pills and I get nauseous so I take it right before I go to bed but the horror story is the day I went to the doctor for the first time the nurse told me to take iron pills so I took like 300 milligrams of iron pills and I think I had an overdose because ever since I took those iron pills and I took them for weeks, I was getting really sick. Like I was so fatigued, I would sleep all day and I wouldn't even get up to do the dishes. Like there were like those days I would just be on the couch and Justin has been amazing. He's been doing everything to make up for the fact that I've gotten so much 
fatigue and it was to me I felt like it was abnormal because before I went to the doctor and before they told me to take the iron pills I wasn't sick like the pregnancy was a dream all I had was shortness of breath and like sore breasts and my breasts like grew two cup sizes I'm like a full C cup and I was like an A cup before so that was like the first signs um, of my pregnancy was the boobs like they were my breasts were just so tender and they hurt all the time and they're a lot bigger than I've ever had them and I get a lot of like oh are you pregnant comments or oh do you have implants no it's my pregnancy <laughs> Um, but other than that, I feel like it's such a blessing. Justin and I feel very lucky that I haven't had any other symptoms. The sad part is I'm not taking as much protein as I should. So I bought some protein um, powder to put in my shakes. So that'll help. But the only source of protein that I actually enjoyed eating since I'm pescatarian, I, I eat eggs. So that's not like 100% pescatarian. But one day, all of a sudden in my pregnancy, Justin surprised me with an egg bon me and I was like, Ugh, it's so gross, I don't like it. No, I, I just can't understand myself during this pregnancy. The foods that I used to love, I don't love anymore. Like, I'm so sad because you have no idea. Eggs were my favorite food my whole entire life. Like, favorite from like a kid till adulthood until recently. This pregnancy has made me hate eggs and that's just sad. Um, what else? Shortness of breath. I don't know, that's pretty much it as far as my pregnancy vlogging. I don't know what else I should be sharing. This is fairly new to me. Oh, I have some TMI to share. I am growing a ridiculous amount of hair. Like, I've never had like so much arm hair, but Justin even noticed. He was like, whoa. And then like, I grow like a legit full on mustache now. My whole face is covered with facial hair. Like there was this one time I went and got my face completely threaded. And then the next week, my face was like gorilla style hairy. I'm, I think I'm not going to even do anything about it. I'm just going to let the mustache grow. And if I have to go to an event or see my girlfriends, I'll shave it. But other than that, Justin doesn't mind. Or I'll epilate it. But epilating hurts. Before I got pregnant, I was like 100 pounds. And then we went to Costa Rica. I gained 6 pounds. So I was like 106 pounds. And then all of a sudden, I went to the doctor doctor and I was 111 pounds the first time and now I'm at 113. I'm supposed to be like around 130 something like 136 like that would be the goal weight like for someone to gain 25 pounds so my goal weight during my pregnancy is like around 136 pounds. That is probably going to be my heaviest I've ever weighed. I'm used to weighing you know 100 pounds or like under 100 but i love this journey and hopefully i just won't get stretch marks but i already have stretch marks on my thighs and my thighs like i thought that i was just gonna gain weight like on my stomach area but it's actually showing everywhere like my face my arms aren't as thin they kind of kind of look bigger my boobs are just like kind of <laughs> they're just like out there now more than they've ever been my thighs have gone i'm just like every pregnant person is grow like grows differently. I've seen my some of my girlfriends, they're so lucky. All they get is a belly, but my mom's body when she was pregnant, I remember when she was pregnant with my brother, she just got big all over. So I know that I'm going to be one of those pregnant women who just gets big all over. Kind of like Kim Kardashian kind of got big all over. I think I might be like that. That's just my body type. I'm not like a skinny mini who can just grow a tummy. <laughs> I wish that would be nice because if because you know giving birth after that all you have to do is you know get rid of the belly fat but so thankfully I haven't been moody like none of that weird hormonal imbalance kind of thing so that's awesome for Justin because I'm not crazy. Oh and as far as cravings I have had some weird cravings. Well it's so weird because I like pickles before I got pregnant but after I got pregnant I didn't really care for pickles anymore, so that was weird. Um, <laughs> and everyone thought I was pregnant when I was liking pickles. And then the opposite thing happened. I just stopped out of nowhere. I do love myself some strawberry briars ice cream. And also lately, I've been really into mangoes. <laughs> I eat mangoes all the time. And I love watermelon agua fresca, but I, I ate so much that I'm like, I hate it now. I, I'm sick of it. And then I also went through a cantaloupe melon phase. It's kind of hard eating because I know I should be eating um, more or slightly more healthier foods, but it's been so hard because 
I don't feel hungry, but I force myself to like to eat things I know I should, like a glowing green smoothie for breakfast. Sometimes I don't feel like it, but I'll do it just because I know that the baby needs, you know, nutrients. And also I read that the first trimester, we actually don't have to gain weight. So that's pretty good, but I did gain weight. I gained some. <laughs> so far I gained six, seven pounds already the first trimester. So that's actually more than I'm supposed to. So I kind of may have to um, have to watch what I eat. Um, just during the first trimester and then I heard during the second trimester I'm supposed to like eat like 350 calories more but overall it's been such an awesome pregnancy Justin and I feel so lucky that I'm not vomiting in the morning I don't get any morning sickness none whatsoever I the only thing I get is fatigue and in the beginning of my pregnancy I was getting night nausea but that was from taking the prenatal pills like too early on I was taking it like at 9 p.m. now I take it right when I'm in bed so I'll have my water I'll brush my teeth before and I'll just like take this right before bed so like I won't feel it yeah and then running to the restroom is like a ridiculous thing oh and TMI recently just when I hit eight weeks pregnancy I was constipated the whole pregnancy like my belly looked bigger than it should just because I have irritable bowel syndrome and I'm constipated all the time so it was terrible but now I'm having the opposite effect like every time I eat I see myself having to run to the bathroom and I don't know if I have like diarrhea problems or if I'm sick like if I have had food poisoning because we did recently go to a fair like a fiesta and I had some fish and chips and I don't know if the fish and chips were completely cooked I don't know but I've just been so sick lately so I don't know. I also read that it's normal for women to kind of actually get the opposite effect. Like if you were in your, like before your pregnancy, if you were always constipated, you in your pregnancy would get diarrhea all the time. So I really hope this doesn't happen because I'm, I'm always like everywhere we go, I always look for a bathroom and I, <laughs> it's not, it's not the most comfortable thing to do to have to use the restroom in public restrooms, but you got to do what you got to do. Alrighty, so that is my first pregnancy vlog. Let me know what I miss because this is my first time. I don't know what I'm doing as far as a pregnancy vlog. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.